Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now before I get started on today's one, I'm going to disconnect the uh, Windows XP CD uh, from our virtual machine. And we are going to do something that is pretty much the most entertaining and quick way to destroy Windows, but not entirely. So in this fonts folder, which we have uh, actually showcased in another video, which, you know, that's another good thing. We're going to delete all of these fonts. Let's delete them all. They're gone. There are more hidden fonts that you can't delete in Windows. But immediately you see we have lost the contents of our window here. And if we go to folder options, we can see that we have, I believe that is wing dings or is it web dings? One of the dings enthusiasts can tell me. So, yeah, we can see that uh, certain things are not looking too great. Although the system font is working, we see that whatever this was, this speed is, is now just random symbols. And the start menu is now question mark up. But uh, let's go ahead and restart. Oh, nice. Nice, that's what you want. That's, that's what you want. Okay, so this is our lovely logon screen here. We can see we've lost everything. This is no longer the power options. It's the something X stop. Um, and we are now unidentified Unicode character question mark this and X. Oh, nice. Nice. This looks kind of weird, kind of creepy. And we can see that the start menu has actually grown. And it is no longer just... Oh my god, balloons are massive. Uh, it is no longer just question mark up. It's now question mark up, check, cross up. So that's good. And we have lost our internet and email. And all of these shortcuts are now nothing. It's this bold font that's very prominent that seems to have gone. If we go to log off, we can see we have this like bootleg font. And these are old fonts. Uh, if you try and delete these residual fonts, the system won't boot. That's why I didn't do it. And oh my god, good thing I know the icons. Because let's go and change our profile picture. Oh, and we can see this is interesting. So we get this real weird uh, digital, like, I don't know what, I don't even know how to describe this. Like a terminal emulation font, I guess. I mean, I'm not really sure why, but we can see the windows update balloon is massive i can't tell you why and we can see huh? how do you want to install updates and you can see all these fonts are like subtly off the, these this is okay but anything in bold that's still here is just off so if we change my picture we can browse to the um this folder but we don't really need to do that, so let's just click over here. This is change your picture, user accounts. Oh my god, okay, and Internet Explorer did not like that. I believe the one with the X at the end is ask me later, which is good. Let's allow the blocked content, and that's it, okay. You got about? Oh yeah, square square, yeah you too. So yeah, I mean this is just, just a lot of fun, it just looks so stupid. Um, this is fairly easily reversible if you just get a folder uh, that has the fonts in it, use Hirons, or you can actually just do it in Windows and you can restore this pretty easily. Um, but it is quite funny seeing how much stuff uses that bold font in particular that just gets to totally destroyed. Task manager here is still okay, except for this networking tab's missing its numbers. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything else um, that isn't using this very generic font is just smoked. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Actually, hold on. Can we just restore these? Or oh, fix the video? Surely, right? Let's restart and see if we can fix this. No. No, we could not fix this. No, okay, I guess it wasn't fixable that easy. Is there actually... 
No, it's a... Oh! So it does actually have most of these fonts back in here, but not all of them. Not enough of them, I suspect. Oh, look, hold on. Look, we got some... We got one of them back. We got this, this font here back. So balloons are now an appropriate size. Um, and we can see that this looks more proper. But... Uh, oh, and we can see we got this back too. So it just looks like the start menu is just really affected i wonder if we just task if we just kill explorer and then reopen it yay there we go so we finish on a high note thank you very much for watching and hopefully i'll see you all in the next video